fact, there's, there is a really good example of that, and we'll put it up on our social media feeds, where there's a chap who's confronted with a, a manatee, a dugong-type character, a mammal, and it's really curious about his beard, and it comes and approaches this guy. It starts stroking his beard. Yeah, essentially, it starts nibbling at this guy's beard, and the guy, because he knows that he shouldn't touch it, is really responsible. He goes, goes do you know what? I'm not going to resist the temptation to stroke this thing and just puts his hands behind his back and so there's this footage of this guy he's got his snorkeling gear on and he's got this sort of long gingery beard and um, he's been nibbled on by this manatee <laughs> for about for about a minute and a half before he manages to kind of teach him to have a beard well exactly yeah <laughs> he's learned an important lesson there isn't he's he hipsters girl <laughs> yeah going around with their check shirts beards and top knots <laughs> that must get itchy I always wonder that. Do you think beards often get itchy? I think we're in danger of going slightly off topic here, <laughs> talking about if you can grow one. beauty musings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back on the main highway. Sorry, sorry, we've gone off subject, sorry. Talking about the interactions with the animals. 